the Holy Spirit, that down payment, that beginning of our inheritance that God has already given to us, that's what the fullness is. When we're talking about, hey, we received of his fullness, that's what we're saying, man. We're received of God's spirit. We've received of God's person. We've received of God's essence. Let me ask you this morning, what is more important in life than God? His presence in your life. The next time you're tempted to become distracted, ask yourself that, wow, is this really what God wants me to be full of or is this what the world's trying to fill me up with? Paul's like saying mind-blowing things. I mean, if you read the Bible, it'll begin to blow your mind in a good way. Are you here today? Test me on it and try me on this one. Just begin to read the Bible, man, and see if God doesn't begin to show you things that you're like, wow, I didn't even know that was, was true. I didn't even know that was available for me. That's what I, sometimes I get up here and I start preaching. I'm like, I'm going to go to this one thought, but the verse just before the thought I'm trying to get to blows my mind. I'm like, I got to stop and talk about that right now. Sometimes I think it's a little confusing for people, but man, I'm like, wow, that is so awesome. Do you see that there? Paul said, you've been sealed. You've been given a down payment. God has already granted and gifted you with something. And if you take it and get full of it, man, it will make you explosive in this life. John wasn't special. Peter wasn't special. Paul wasn't special. They were just normal human beings like me and you who decided to say yes. Who decided to come to the table and eat from God? Come to the table and drink of his spirit. So anyway, that's the background of what we're about to read. And it's in flowery language. When you read it, it's almost like, well, it's just almost too good to be true. He goes, he goes you've heard the word of truth of the gospel of your salvation, in whom also, after that you believe, you were sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise, verse 14, which is the, or the earnest of our inheritance, until the redemption of the purchased possession under the praise of his glory. God's like, one day, man, you're going to be all mine. <laughs> this is how much God loves me and you. One day I've arranged that you will spend forever with me. I can only imagine what that's going to be like. Let me tell you, it won't be some religious thing, you know, like we're bored in heaven for eternity with nothing to do. It won't be like that at all. It'll be like, wow, every day is a new day. There won't be any night. There won't be any downtime. Every moment, every time you think about the fact of where you are, it'll blow your mind. The full possession of God. God sent Jesus to pay for your life so that you could be saved, but not just so that you could be saved, so that you could be full of him. 